example of uh, employee record but by using uh, Microsoft Access and here we will be creating a table uh, employee uh, name and as well as we will be creating appropriate records uh, based on employee name and we will be uh, sorting the employee name uh, according to the ascending order and then uh, we will be uh, sorting uh, in the uh, net sat in the uh, descending order or net salary so in order to get into access there are plenty of ways so the easiest way is in the search window you will just type uh, microsoft access and then click on microsoft access so as soon as you click on that you will uh, have like this so you will you can give the uh, file name as uh, employee name so here i'll say employee name and then i'll say create so as you can see that uh, the table uh, i mean the form is displayed so what you will do is you'll click on view and then uh, click on the design view and it will ask you to give the uh, table name and keep it as table one only i'll say okay and here the serial number is auto number so therefore again i'll say like this so here it is employee name so employee name is nothing but text i'll say enter enter and then after that i'll be uh, typing as basic sal and again enter it's numeric and then it is uh, after basic it is da again i'll say enter again i'll say select as number and uh, similarly i'll do do it for uh, other fields uh, that is hra number and then uh, cca then number and then allowance again it is number after that it is cross pay again it is number and again it is deduction again it is number and then it is net sal again it is number i'll say enter and make the cursor to come at this particular location now what i'll do is i have to uh, enter the uh, details of the employee so i'll go to the uh, data sheet view click on uh, data sheet view so it will say um, it will ask us to save the uh, table uh, now so yes i will say and after that i will say rama and here i need i will enter 12000 as the basic salary and after that i won't fill any of the other details so here uh, one more uh, file name is i mean uh, name of the employee is kumar and here i will say 14000 as the uh, basic salary and then i will say enter 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 and again i will say and again I'll say 15,000 so again I'll uh, I'll say again I'll add one more record so here I'll say 16,000 enter 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 and then I'll come at this particular location so now what I need to do is I need to write the query so in order to write the query I'll go to the uh, create tab and then uh, click on uh, query design so I'll say add and then close. So here the first and the foremost thing that I need to do is I need to calculate uh, DA. So as soon as I click on DA, I'll click on update. And once I click on update, in the update to I'll right click on it and I'll say build. And here I need to select the uh, table. So therefore employee name I'll select it and within that I'll say table. And here the DA is nothing but 15% of basic salary so therefore what I'll say I'll say 15 
I'll say OK. So here uh, and once that is done, so now I'll say click on run. So it will ask us to uh, update the record. I'll say yes. And you can come over here and check out that the DA is calculated. Now what, what I need to do is I need to create uh, one more uh, query design. Again I'll say add close. Now I need to select after DR, DA. It is HRA. So I'll click on update. And in the update to what I'll do. I'll go to build. And here I need to select the uh, tables over here. So once I select the table, uh, HRA is 10% uh, of uh, basic salary. So here I'll say 10% whole thing divided by 100 into I'll double click on basic salary and I'll say OK and then I'll say again run. So again it will ask me to update all four records. I'll say yes. So like this, uh, what you will do is you will uh, keep repeating for uh, CCA allowance, GP deductions, and as well as the other other fields. Again, I'll come over here, create query design, and again add, close, and then click on after uh, HRA. It is CCA. CCA is nothing but I'll click on update, and then I'll come to the update to right click on it build and again I'll uh, select this table so here it is 8.5 divided by 100 into the basic salary I'll double click on it and I'll say ok and then I'll click on run. it would update the uh, four rows again you can see that the four rows are updated again I'll go to query query design and again add close then after that I need to uh, go for the allowance and then I'll click on update so now what I'll do I'll right click on update to and again select the table so once after this I'll double click on uh, allowance is nothing but basic salary plus DA I'll double click on it plus and HRA I'll say OK and I'll again uh, click on this one I'll say yes you can see that the table uh, allowance is calculated again you will go to uh, create query design add close and then after allowance it is the uh, gross pay that is GP and again click on update and again here right click on it and then you will build on it so double click on this select the table now the uh, gross pay is basic salary plus your allowance you will double click on it and then say ok and then click on run so it will ask us to update so yes of course and as you can see that here GP is updated now again you will click on create again query design and then add close and then after uh, GP the deduction you will click on update and then come to update to right click on it build select the table and after selecting the table deduction is 10% of 10 divided by 100 into uh, gross pay that is GP. I'll double click on GP. I'll say OK and then click on run. It will ask us to update. I'll say yes. You can see that the GP is deduction is done. Now again, I'll come to the uh, net cell, go to the query design, add. So all these queries can be implemented in uh, only in a stretch, and all the uh, tables can be. Uh, updated pa parallelly also so here uh, with the basics we'll, we are doing one query after the other I'll click on update and again I'll come to the uh, update to right click on it I'll go to uh, build uh, as soon as you come on build uh, your net salary is uh, GP minus of deduction so what you need to do is 
uh, you need to double click on table uh, you need to double click uh, GP minus of uh, deduction so I will double click on it and say ok and then uh, click on uh, run so now you need to update the uh, table so you will go and cross check over here so once this is done you need to uh, sort through the ascending order now what you will do you place the cursor over here and uh, you will be uh, using ascending order over here and you will as soon as you click on this you can see that it is sorted in ascending order uh, this is regarding uh, employee name and if you based on net salary if you want to click on descending order then you will click on this descending order you can see that all the values are changed this is a, uh, what you will do is you will implement employee database in Microsoft Access. Thank you.